Hey, Daphne here. Welcome to day 40 of raising my manifesting vibration to get what I want. And today was a pretty interesting day. Um, it didn't start out so hot. My husband and I had a dis disagreement, but what it did was it opened up my mind and myself to see where it is that I'm really, really lacking and things that I've been avoiding. So it's common that uh, for anybody, most people, when presented with a situation that you don't want to deal with, you avoid it, avoid it, avoid it, avoid it, avoid it, till it blows up in your face and you are forced to deal with it. Well, I don't want to, I don't want to do that. And that's exactly what happened this morning, was that I had to deal with the fallout of a situation that should have been dealt with based off of my own inaction. So, I own it, I, I know what I did, and what I should have done, and it's totally okay. There's absolutely nothing wrong with being wrong, and, you know, just a few months ago, six months ago, I wouldn't have said that. You know, I would have been right at all costs, and it wouldn't have mattered. I would have just argued my way, fought my way through until I was right, and, you know, looking back on it, it just didn't serve me any sort of purpose whatsoever. It's better to just you know, admit when you're wrong, learn from it, and move on. It may actually makes you a better, stronger person than trying to hold on to being right. Because, let's face it, you're not always going to be right. It's not always going to be, uh, you're not always going to have the answer. And that's totally okay. You gotta get over thinking that you always have to be right. And it's difficult, and you'll have to work on it and really, um, You'll feel like you're conceding or you're giving in or you're selling out, but you're not. You're, you're selling yourself out and you're doing yourself a disservice by not really owning everything that you are. Per perfections, imperfections, you are who you are and that's what makes you beautiful because you're an individual and nobody is exactly like you. So... You know, in our flaws, we're actually perfect. We're perfect exactly the way we are. So, that was my big lesson for today. And I actually got, um, I got my party going. I'll set up for this Sunday, which is, um, which is August 4th at 5 p.m. I'm doing my very first wrap party. It's my launch party. So, if you are interested, shoot me an email, ladymanifestor.com, or excuse me, ladymanifestor at gmail.com. If you're in the Phoenix area, it'll be in the Glendale area, North Glendale. So, if you're interested in coming, I'd love to have you, even if we've never met in person. This is our opportunity. And, um, Shoot me an email, ladymanifestor at gmail.com, and I will let you know exactly what location we will be at. It'll be a very calm, informal setting, so bring a friend, come visit, come check out these crazy rap things that are literally changing lives in all kinds of ways, and I'm so excited to share that with you. And you know what? I'm really thankful and grateful that you are here watching this video right now, and that you're interested in my journey, and I hope that you would, uh, you know, are ready to take the next step in your life and take control and make your life what you want, because you know what? I'm having so much fun right now, it's almost like it's a game. I'm seeing what I can manifest and what I can get, and it's just so much fun. So thanks again for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow on day 41.